What's up everybody guys, welcome back to me and my own tutorial. Today, we're tackling uh, something that might just blow your mind. Gaussian splatting in Unreal Engine 5, powered by Luma AI. When I stumbled upon this post on X, I was like, wow. <laughs> Gaussian splatting? That sounds really cool. But the post was made by Unity, so it seems uh, complex to use it in Unreal Engine 5. If we can, uh, it used in the high-end VGA loop or CZ effects. But guess what? It's not as complicated as it looks. In fact, it's super easy and high quality. Before Gaussian splatting came onto the scene, I gave nerve photogrammetry a shot, but let's be honest, the 3D scans had their fair share of the noise, kinda like unwanted trash in the picture. Now Gaussian splatting has changed the game. So let's dive in and implement this awesomeness. I'm going to walk you through scanning and importing into Unreal Engine 5 step by step. These are only 3 steps. Step 1. Scanning We are going to use Luma AI because it got this sweet UE plugin. They even offer sample scenes so you can practice without scanning anything you yourself. I'm gonna talk about it after the explanation of the scanning. So uh, I go about DIY file so let's do that the real deal. Pop up the Luma AI app, hit the capture button and choose scenes for environments or object mode for well like object you know like a statue or apples like flutes or something like that the tricks for our stellar scans is to move slowly and snag as many unique angles as you can when i did mine i moved this way and Change the angle and move it back slowly, like a spy movie, sneaking around the scenes, changing the perspectives. And after uh, the capture the scene, uh, hit the finish and upload your masterpiece. And grab a coffee because it takes uh, about 20 to 30 minutes to uh, get done. In the meantime, let's chat about uh, those sample scenes. Let's head to the Notion link and the Global Sample Project. So if you uh, scroll down, so you can find the Sample Project downloads, and we can uh, download it. So I'm gonna download this one. So I'm gonna extract all, and I'm gonna open the, this project. So let's open up. If you can uh, open the sample file, so you can see that the beautiful like a scene that is captured by Luma AI. So it's like your 360 uh, environment map. So that's really cool. And then like it, it is not uh, like a heavy file, like we can learn the pro project uh, uh, with this 60 uh, frame rate. So that's really cool, right? Okay. And also you can get another uh, sample scene. Uh, if you go down to the, um, scroll down to the, uh, this website, you can find more sample scenes and uh, let's click on that so they have uh, five uh, sample scenes here so for example so let's uh, download this one so uh, if you uh, open up uh, these are two type of the uh, Gaussian splatting file for Unreal Engine one is a Luma interactive scene that Luma interactive scene uh, second one is the Luma field uh, download. So uh, I'm going to show you uh, what is the difference uh, of it. So I'm going to uh, download both of them. So now uh, I'm going to extract the file of the uh, interactive scene. So importing is so easy. So I'm going to make the new uh, file, for example, so a new folder. Uh, field another one is uh, uh, interactive so first uh, I'm gonna uh, import the uh, field one so 
this is uh, this one drone to your loops dot luma file so i'm gonna import it okay they have a luma file and for example i'm gonna add the new level and i'm gonna delete this one and i'm gonna bring the uh the dynamic to loop so uh if you go uh inside of the this one so like this one which is really cool right luma files uh, let you tweak the exposure and the crop the scenes you know like this one you can crop the scenes but uh, it's very heavy uh that's why uh both luma ai and i recommend the second one so which is a PLY file so uh, I'm gonna uh, drop the PLY file uh, from the folder I already uh, extract. So and I'm gonna drop the uh, this one. Okay. And this is also uh, uh, allow us to uh, crop crop the scene. Like if you, if we, I change the crop box to the five, yeah, see, we can crop it as well. You change the more smaller, smaller. Yeah, uh, this is so light uh, file. Uh, it's easier uh, on your system. And also, they have another one like a uh, uh, draw bridge, uh, physics reading, uh, capital playground. So you can uh, use it like without the, uh, capture the your scene. Okay. I'm assuming our upload is done. So we move to the step two, is importing the scan. So uh, jump on the website of the Luma AI. So let's go to the Luma AI and uh, login. And let's go to the My Captures. So now uh, I have uh, this scene. So uh, hit, let's hit the download. But here is the inside scope. Go straight for the uh, Gaussian splat, which is a PLY file uh, optimized for UE5. I've tested them all, and this one is the gold standard. Don't download the other file because you're gonna waste your time. So trust me. So I'm gonna download it. Now, step three creating the project for Luma AI Gaussian splatting. Let's fire up. Uh, Unreal Engine 5 and uh, select the C++. This will save you hell of the errors when you want to package the project later if you want. So I'm gonna call it uh, uh, and then yeah, branch file and create it. And then to work with the uh, Luma AI's files, you're gonna install their plugins. So let's go to the uh, folder uh, of the sample file. This is a sample file. And you can find the uh, plugins folder. And I'm going to copy it. And then let's go to the uh, your project file. So which is uh, uh, Gaussian Splat in UE5. And here. And I'm going to paste it, the plugins file. And now uh, I'm going to go to the uh, root plugins file in my AI, but it's, we can't find it, so we need to uh, restart this project. So I'm gonna uh, close this uh, project and I'm gonna open it up again. Yeah, which is a little bit, little bit the hustle uh, to you know like uh, make the own project uh, with clean state, but it's, this is the only way to do that. Okay, so let's go to the plugins file. I'm gonna search the Luma AI, and then you need to uh, enable uh, this plugin, and then restart uh, your project. I already enable uh, plugins. I don't have to uh, restart uh, this file. So uh, I'm gonna uh, create a new label and a basic and create it, and then I'm gonna uh, create the new folder. I'm gonna call it GS. And then we already download the uh, 
uh, your scans. So let's think this one. And I need to extract all. So I'm going to open up. And uh, you can uh, see the uh, PLY file. So we can uh, drag and drop to the Unreal Engine. So let's uh, go to the gsshuttle.ply and uh, I'm gonna drop it to the content folder. Yes, so you can see the uh, four blueprint. The first one is a baked. Baked uh, keeps your splats immune to uh, lighting change. So that it mean like uh, it, it isn't uh, be affected by lighting because it's already baked. And also, uh, you can see the uh, no TAA. Uh, the TAA uh, option is a lighter on your system. I recommend to drop here all of the file to see what is the difference. So this is a no TAA, which is a little bit uh, lighter uh, than the other file. And this is a dynamic. So it affects the uh, lighting. So let's see if I uh, drop the light. Yeah, you can see the uh, the reflection of the light. And they also have a, a dynamic no TAA file, so which is a little bit lighter. And the TAA uh, means a temporary anti-aliasing. So if you have a problem uh, with uh, anti-aliasing, it's really good to use the Note uh, It makes you handle the file uh, lighter, so you can uh, speed it up to work with the file. So uh, that's a wrap for this one, folks. Next video, we are going dynamic lighting. I'm talking about the dynamic lighting for VGS and share the PL file I scanned. That means no need for you to scan, just download and enjoy uh, Gaussian splatting. Catch you in the next video and let's keep creating!